everybody. Welcome back. So you said you had things to talk about, huh? <laughs> yes, many, <laughs> many things. No, I was going to say that I had um, an interesting incident where I ordered a package that was, you know, of course, during coronavirus, everything was, you know, delayed anyways so you never knew when things you ordered were going to come in because amazon prime doesn't really exist anymore they still mark things as prime but like shipping date is a week and a half from now and so you just never really know what's what's happening and i ordered it it wasn't from amazon but it was from somewhere else and of course you know a couple days later it was like oh your package is delayed you know due to the you know the coronavirus and all this stuff i'm like okay so time goes by and i like forget and then I get an email one day that's like, your package has been delivered. And I'm like, woohoo. And I loaded up my camera and realized that no packages have been delivered to my house at all. And it's not that, like it's not there, but it's not like it got stolen. It just was never delivered. Right, right. So, okay, they, you know, the, the, the UPS and FedEx are really bad about doing this. They'll mark something as delivered, especially like late at night one night when they were supposed to deliver it and it won't actually be there it'll come back the next day by the way i am like flying around the main island looking for this big firework almost out of almost, fireworks it's 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 striped like red and white it's right beside the potion bottle right beside the potion and bottle. the shulker box oh it's just the top of the firework yeah. Oh, oh, I was looking for like a big building with a giant firework. Oh, you're in it. Oh, so welcome <laughs> to the fireworks store. Where I help you find anything? No, nope, no, nope, just uh, just nobody. They, you got a permit for these fireworks, sir? No, uh, no. Yeah, and yeah. Twinkle Fourth of July, Fade Fourth of July, and Basic Fourth of July. Oh, so these are all different. Oh, I've been using... These are all fancy fireworks. I've been using this one. Wait, I'm. Oh, it's all it's all gone. Never mind. I don't use that one. I want to see. Pew. Ooh, that was pretty. But I don't want to waste those. If you ones. use ones that uh that have an effect like that, do you get to see that whenever you blast? I don't know. God, there's a lot of diamonds in here. Uh, flight. Yeah, I've been using that one. There's the flight duration three. Yeah, flight duration three. These are nice. I'm gonna take the other stack and bring it back to our base. I mean, you know, of course I wouldn't do that. And then there's a bunch of flight duration ones here anyway. Uh, let me grab one of these fancy ones though, and just. See, I'm gonna go up with the normal one. Contact directly for bulk orders. And then, I contact her directly. How? Oh yeah, there is. Did that hurt you? I I I tried to turn around to see it. I think I flew into the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so I'm, I figure I'll wait till the next day because. Your, hold on, what's real quick though? Your mic is different right now. Good You're different like, or bad thinking? different? I mean, Not in a good way. Yeah. Oh, like, you know your, what? Like your gain is like super high. I, well, I am Maybe. looking over at my settings. Hold on a second. Let me land. My mic does seem to be pushed up higher than normal. Is that better? Talk, talk some more. Hello, talking, talking some yeah, more. Yeah, I think that's better. Think yeah, that's better. it was a little bit higher than normal on the level for some odd reason, but okay. Um, so the next day, oh shit! The moment you started like actually talking, you, you started again. peeking again. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you guys are gonna have to wait, unless I bump right. my gain here. Hold on. Ugh. I can I'll, turn you I'll down. Just, You're just kind of crackly a little bit. Turn my gain down a little bit on the mic itself too, and we'll see if that does anything. But. Okay. So the next day, I wait and wait and wait, and nothing comes. It still says it's delivered, and I'm like, okay. Uh, so then I got to, that's right before I went to Ohio. So I went to Ohio and came back, and still the package never came. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, call, call and get a dispute or whatever it is started. Apparently, USPS doesn't answer their phones during this. Like, you get through on the line to, to a message finally, and it's like, you know, after you hit all the buttons to get to the right place, which takes forever, and then it's like, we are, during the pandemic, we are not answering the phones. You should uh, file a dispute online. I'm like, this is like the best time to answer the phones, because you send your fucking people home, and they still, like, work from yeah. there. I don't, I don't get it. So either way, they didn't do that, so I have to go online and start a claim. So I, oh god, I just fell in the water. Uh, so I start a claim, and unfortunately when i start this claim it changes my status like two days later from delivered to scheduled and it had that day by eight o'clock 
And I'm like, okay, they must have found, you know, my package and wherever it was at, and they're going to bring it by. Well, no package comes. And I'm like, okay, that's freaking weird. And the next day I log in, and it is now scheduled for that day. And I'm like, what the f- what the hell is going on? Come on, this is like this is ridiculous at this point. And the next day it just says scheduled. We'll update with delivery date when one is available. The fuck? And I was like, okay, this is just like dumb. So I'm gonna try to call back and maybe at some point I'll get a hold of like somebody through some menu system, which I actually finally did. I had to sit on hold for like 35 minutes or something like that at work. I almost forgot I was on hold. Like, there's just music. Like, do 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 You know, music. And, you know, I'm working on other things. And all of a sudden, somebody's like, hello, can I help you? And I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know? <laughs> but, so, it takes this dude, like, 25 minutes to start searching through anything to do with my claim. And he finally comes back and he's just like, oh, just ignore the date of whatever it says on the, uh, on the website that the when the claim is going the dates are not correct but the driver has tried to make contact with where they dropped the package off to see if they can reclaim the package and i'm like okay so they i said are they acknowledging at this point that they delivered it to the wrong house and they're trying to get it back and he says yes i say okay, okay. that's interesting so a week goes by by the way, I'm in bed. So a week oh. goes by. No no updates on anything. No updates on the claim status online. No, you know, no package, nothing like this. It just keeps saying scheduled, scheduled, scheduled. You know, we'll we'll update at some point. And so I'm like, what the fuck? So I start digging back through the stuff and I'm gonna call uh, the company that I bought it from. So I go to find the email. And what did you buy, by the way? What was this thing you were even uh, So it was it's actually like an electric skateboard. Um but not for me because it's like the weight limit's like 150 pounds. But I bought it was a yeah. I was on some random sale, so I figured it was something like Jack might be able to play with and have fun with. Yeah. And then uh, to get free shipping, I added like some. It was from Kohl's, so I added some okay. like pants and a, a dress shirt and stuff to it uh, because I wanted to get free shipping and I needed pants and a dress shirt anyway. So I figured why not make take advantage of it. And yeah. so I do this, or I I do this. I uh, go to the pull up my email and as I'm about to call them with my order number and stuff, I swear to God, I looked down and realized the shipping address is an address that I lived at over six years ago. And I remember, oh well, and I remember when I was filling out the paper or the, the form online, it had my old address in there. I guess I haven't ordered from Kohl's since I lived at this, at this other address. And I remember updating the shipping address like two or three times and it kept reverting back to the old one. And I finally got it to take. Huh. I didn't, I guess, pay attention to the, and I think the final screen, I want to say that right when the order went through, I checked it on the final screen because I was like so confused at why it wouldn't take my address. And I yeah. confirmed, but I never looked at the email and the email showed that it was shipping to the other address. So now I'm thinking, okay, this is weird. So I've got the UPS people telling me that they've acknowledged that they've dropped it off to the wrong house, yet they're still not updating this claim, yet I see that they dropped it off, or it probably was delivered to the other house, even though everything I've put in on this claim and everything I've talked to this claim guy about, he asked me, what's the address the package is shipped to? And I give him my current address, and he confirms all of that information, which is weird because it was clearly wrong, yet they just accept this and, and move on with, with life for some odd reason. So I call the company. And the company essentially tells me, and I find this kind of funny, and I straight up tell them it was on, a, on the chat. And I was like, look, I realized after that, I started a claim with you know UPS, but then I re-looked at the order confirmation. I don't know how it happened, but it looks like it took an old address of mine, and that's where we're running into the problem. And I was kind of surprised, but at the same time, it's not their fault. But the lady was basically like, well, do you know anybody that lives at that house still? And I said, no. And she goes, well... Since it's your fault, there's not really anything we can do about it. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess like that's fair because it was my fault. But, but you, was it really? But, well, and I can't guarantee it was or not. But the email that did come through immediately after the order confirmation did have the wrong address on it. And I yeah, guess I should I have, called I should have looked at it there. Right. But even so, I wouldn't think that a company would just have that 
Right, I think attitude. that's the employee's stance, not the company's stance. Uh, right, and it, and it just kind of, kind of weird. So anyways, I'm like, okay, how am I going to go about this? So, you know what, that old place, it's not that far from my work. Maybe I'm just going to drive yeah. over there, knock on the door. What's the worst that can happen? It's been three weeks at this point you since this package. drive by, a kid on a little electric skateboard. <laughs> I, thought that's, I was kind of wondering. And, uh, and I'm going in with like the thought process that, like, there's uh, this stuff has either been gone, sold, you know, used, whatever. Like the the odds of getting this back are no. But what do I have to lose at this point? So I go and knock on the door, and somebody answers, and I'm just like, look, hey, my name's you know, my name's Jeff Sano. I know this is a real long shot, and I honestly don't care. Like it could have been, you guys could have opened it because you know you would have no way of knowing who I was or where it was go or what to do with this stuff. Like it's not your responsibility anymore as the the recipient of a lost package to do anything. And I was like, I'm just curious. Like I had some packages accidentally sent here. I used to live here, and the guy goes, Oh yeah, there was some packages sent here for you. Some FedEx guy or some UPS guy came back and. You know, asking if the things had gotten delivered. And I think we gave the because there's like four people that live in this house. There's an old house with four rooms that each person re- rents an individual room. It's a place I had lived for about two years, so I know that the way the house works. And uh, he's like, "Yeah, I think uh, one of the roommates gave the packages back to him, though." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Um, so I'm thinking in my head, if they gave them back, they gotta go back to the company or something, then, right? And then yeah. they could like refund my order. And then one of the other roommates comes downstairs and he goes, "Hey, you, you, did the uh, you know did the packages go back to the FedEx guy or the UPS guy?" And he's like, "Oh wait, are you uh uh a uh, Tim?" And I was like, "No, I'm, I'm Jeff." And he's like, "Oh yeah, Jeff, that's right." And he walked around the corner and he picked up one box. It was just giant, like the box the skateboard came in. And he's like, "Here you go." And I was like, "Holy shit!" Like it's just still sitting there completely sealed up and everything and i was like well i you know just out of curiosity i said i know this thing came in two shipments what about the other like parcels was there anything else And he's like no that's the only thing that i know of so i'm like okay that's kind of weird because there was two different things that came but at the same time i'm not like questioning them because clearly they were willing to stay straight up say hey i came this guy came back and asked for it yeah and it was still packaged in the box. So it's not like they opened it up and were trying to hide the fact that they had taken my stuff. It was still in the fucking box. I had no idea what it was that was in there. Yeah. So, and then the guy asked me, he's like, hey, did you used to live here? And I said, yeah. And he's like, hey, how is it? Because he apparently they just moved in like a month ago. So <laughs> they, they just move in and they get a box from somebody. So they might have kept it thinking I was probably the old tenant. Like the uh, most recent old tenant. Yeah. But... When I leave and get home, and I'm happy I have something from it, though I don't have everything from it, I'm hoping the other package maybe did go back to the the UPS guy and it will get back and I'll get a refund, but who knows if that's actually going to happen. Otherwise, I'm very curious on where that is. But one thing I want to put out to anybody who's stuck with this story. If you get a package in the mail that is not yours, and you don't intend to steal it, because clearly these people didn't, they didn't even open it up, it'd been there for three weeks or a month or however long it's been, Look at the address label, because I looked at it when I got home because I was questioning it. My phone number is right there in the freaking label next to my name, and a lot of companies do that now. Yeah. If you get a package and it's not to you and you don't know how to get it back to where it needs to go, there's usually a phone number on it that you can call and let that person know that a package came to the wrong place if you want to be a nice person. Huh. That's what I wanted to say. But I'm also still curious what's going to happen with the second package, the second part of the package. I mean, so what did you not get? Uh, the shirt and the pants. Huh. It's weird. Um, so you just got a skateboard. I. Uh, yeah, I wonder. Maybe they did give one package back. Well, and that's what I'm wondering. If they gave it back, when is it going to get back to the co? Because they, they'd return it to sender, I would assume, right? Right. And then when? I, know, I bet Coles just won't care. You, you don't think you don't think that happens? Like, what about like when people refuse shipment on something? That's supposed to be a way if you bought something and have buyer's remorse. You're supposed to refuse shipment on it, and then it goes back to the really? company, and you're supposed to get refunded. That's what people always said. I've never done that. That sounds like a shitty way to go about things. I mean, I would just it's <laughs> easier for me to just be like, "Hey, I got stolen off my porch. What can do?" Yeah. You know? I mean, shit. That's what you should have just told Coles, I guess. Well, yeah, but I don't. I see. I don't want to lie about stuff like that. I'm not yeah, yeah, in. No, I'm I not in it, the business of. In hindsight, you should just lie. 
Yeah, in hindsight, in hindsight, maybe I should. Well, now I actually at least got the skateboard. Um, in hindsight, I should have though, because I really expected they were going to be like, "Oh, don't worry, this happens all the time." And part of their, you know, profit and loss statements that they would, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. do something. Too, but honestly. I, I can't, I can't be mad at them for not because, like I said, let's even pretend it was a hundred percent my mistake. Yeah, it's. I don't know. And I just wonder, like, Amazon, I know for a fact, I've never called and said that it's something I shipped to the wrong address, but I've numerous times gotten on the chat and just been like, hey, look, I got the delivery message, looked at my cameras when I didn't have a package at home and saw somebody steal it. Oh, okay, cool. What is it? Here's your refund. Ding. Like, instantly. Like, they just don't like, like, it's nothing. I I don't know. I'm surprised that system doesn't get abused. I'm sure it does get abused, but they probably flag accounts if it gets abused too much. Or maybe they don't let... Like, I'm a Prime member, too. Maybe that makes it easy if you pay for their service. Maybe they expect that you're... Right. Not... You know, I don't know what... I should really look and figure out what credit card my Prime is on. Because um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know oh, when shoot. they charge it or anything. Yearly. But they must, I mean, because I'm still a Prime member. All, all I can say is yearly. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know they do it annually, and the price went up too, right? We weren't like grandfathered in when the price went up, were we? Uh, depends. When did it when go I up? Got it like seventy nine a year. I think. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was cheap. Now it's like one ten. Right? Is, uh, did, do we do we pay one? I or? I definitely pay one ten, and I've been a member since it was that low. The funny thing is, my wife and I were both members, and I didn't know that there's a family thing. So we both were paying for it, and it turns out you can, if she cancels hers, I can say add family member, and she just goes in and clicks it, and we are now on an account together. Yeah, not, yeah, it's two, it's two separate pay. accounts still, right. but she's just prime under me, which is right. weird. So I mean, we, you probably have to share the same shipping address no. primarily. Your nope, because I have like fifteen shipping addresses. How when I yeah, bought I gifts for you yeah, know when I bought yeah. gifts for like Minecraft uh, Christmas right. stuff that we did, I just shipped it. I remember when I had to ship it to Pause, and it was like a whole right. different country. I was like here That's you true. go, this is That's my true. shipping address. But it's still being bought under your account. Well, maybe there's like a limit. Maybe you can only have so many family members or something. Yeah, I think it's up to four or six and then there it claims they're supposed to be in the same household and they're supposed to do like some type of check on that but at the same time when you can have multiple shipping addresses it doesn't matter i know the only reason i found out about that was because i have some people uh, i work with told me about it and they've been sharing accounts with like each other for a long mm-hmm. time and they don't live in the same sure. address <laughs> okay yeah, like people with netflix did you know netflix changed it well i mean maybe they maybe it was always like this i i thought you could just you know share the shit out of your netflix account i never really did just because i don't want people having access to my account but uh now like there's a limit on how people can be watching the under the same account so well and it's funny because there's like there's like three different tiers of it because we've started moving everything it's like that and spotify we've started moving over to these family plans because they're a lot cheaper because like spotify it's like Nine ninety nine a month or something like that for one person, or fifteen ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine a month for up to six. So for this yeah. like family plan, so we went on the family plan and use it like Julia's got her own, I have my own because otherwise I'd be playing stuff at work and all of a sudden it would be like somebody else is using your account because they'd play something for the kids at home on the Google uh, speaker. So now yeah. I, I have my own account. I have a different account that I use a different email address on. I hooked up to our Google Home. So anytime you use that, it uses this random account that nobody else has. Julia's got it. it. Her dad's got it. You know, so we share these these accounts. And Netflix, we're moving up to the four-person account. But I will say, though we've been kicked off of Netflix before for multiple people using it, it's it seems very rare. And I know since we've been separated in different states that we've used the Netflix account at the same time. And it's never given us a problem. Yeah, I know that, like, me, because I share mine with Renee, and she shares her Hulu with me, and I know we haven't had a problem, but then when I was dating, the last girl I was dating, all three of us were using my account, my Netflix account, and then we ran into a problem uh, one time, so I guess I can, only, I can only have two viewers at the same time. So, not a single golem spawned today, by the way. Huh. I was over there the whole time, running around the island. I wonder if it's, like, trees where it tries to spawn, and sometimes it can't, like, because we got those half slabs, and it just fails and that'll then it be, tries again and again that'll be really annoying spelling or something yeah i was like running all around the island to see if there's one that's already spawned that yeah is taking it up but i can't find one anywhere there's a spot right i guess i should here. go count how many irons are in here 
Yeah, moving on to the family oh, plan yep, stuff is. is. Oh, there's yeah. one that just spawned. Yeah, he's down. He's I, I thought that we were, he could come come outside. Yeah, hold on. There's forty nine irons. So I'll know when more spawn. Where are you at? Over, uh, come out. Um, not that way. Well, I'm going back to the front. Uh, it's the only good way I know how to get to the top. Right. Come all the way over the island. Oh, so I could have literally just turned left, is what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Wait, he's in a hole? Yeah. Oh, hi, guy. He looks like he's really damaged already, too. Yeah, he must have spawned, like, right here or something and took some damage. He did. All right, I'll just fill this whole hole in here, I guess. Uh, 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 uh. Take it out of there. <laughs> Man, that first time, we, even when we only had like two villagers, didn't we have like some back to back spawns? Yeah. And now we're getting like nothing. Oh, one just spawned down there in the pit where he's supposed to be. Where he's supposed to be. Where he's supposed to be. And it's so funny that they spawn in the water because that was our biggest concern right the whole concern there yeah so i really do wonder what the number of devices is and i think it is different as well i think if it senses devices coming from the same ip that it's different too huh so i think Man, you, that would make sense that would be smart actually. yeah because you can watch in the same house i believe right what I do know is Hulu is freaking terrible with their tears, man. Yeah, Renee's got whatever account doesn't have ads, and uh... yeah, that's what Julia's sister has. So we uh, we usually try to utilize that account when we can, but that does give us a problem sometimes. Say somebody else is watching because I think it's only one person. But I had the uh, commercial, the limited commercial account for a while, and oh my uh -huh. god, I do not want to know what the free account was like because oh, it's free. I think there's one that's free. Oh, good, another one spawned. Um, because the limited commercial account, I it's in like a, every like two minutes. Or oh my god, right? it was minutes. so many freaking commercials. It was more than watching TV. <laughs> it was so oh, annoying, so annoying, and, and <laughs> trying to be sneaky and like run an ad blocker. It's kind of funny how they do this. It ran the the commercial would take up the exact amount of time as the commercial, and a black screen would pop up and say. You have an ad blocker running, but it would just sit there for the same amount of time as the commercial and then go back to the show. Yeah, I, I, uh, the, to me, the whole point of paying for that type of service is to not have commercials. I, I would, I, I would agree to an extent. Like, I can still understand that there's certain services that you, because you, you still pay for, I pay for, you know, direct TV. And I still right. get commercials on DirecTV, so I kind of I understand that concept, but I don't understand the concept what, of what's calling the it limited cost of Hulu. Uh, five. I was on a special where I was paying five dollars a month, which was great for Hulu commercial free and Spotify. It was a student discount, like a student plan. So it's actually really good, especially if you just want Spotify, because it brings makes Spotify only five bucks. And Spotify is great. Uh, man, you had Hulu in a pinch if you needed it, but God, good luck trying to actually watch anything on Hulu. But the fact that they call it limited commercials would lead me to believe that there's a free tier that has like full commercials, because otherwise you can't say it's limited commercials. Limited from what? You're right. You have to have a baseline here, you know? Right. <laughs> I don't know how many blocks this guy needs to spawn because technically there's some spots he could spawn up here. Might be too high though. I think we're gonna have enough iron to make a couple more chests right before the, the purge. Yeah, I just went down there and checked on the system and uh, I've I've utilized all the chests that I had there. Um, they're not all full, but like, there's no. They all have pieces in them. Yeah, they all have one, uh, you know, an item. 
Um, so I need to expand it. But this, at the same time, I just lack all motivation knowing the server's going to reset soon. I guess for anyone that doesn't realize that, the server's going to reset soon. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that'll bring everybody back to it permanently. Everyone keeps saying they're coming back. I'm going to come back and play! You know, it's so funny, too, because I remember when... One of the times that the when the server really started to go downhill was because a lot of people didn't want one of the server resets because they had so much work into it, but every like a lot of people wanted it. So a lot of those people who were real big, you know, at building stuff lost interest because they just lost all that stuff and they didn't want to see it lost again. It's funny though. I just looked at like this is episode one thirty nine or one forty or somewhere right around there. We haven't been religiously putting them out every other day either because we've had like time frames around breaks and stuff. That's over a year that we've been making videos on this server. Right. So it's not like it's short lived. We're not like running something for two months and like saying screw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean that's kinda like people were like, Why aren't you excited? Everyone's so on the server now, you should be real excited. I don't know why that's the voice they have. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> Hey, so okay, he spawned in a really bad place. What he spawned? Was it down there at least? Uh, no. Oh, where'd he spawn now? What the fuck? Was he in the water there? I saw him when he was in the water. I don't know if he spawned here and walked, or if he literally yeah, spawned... Yeah, that's a half slab. He couldn't have spawned in there. He had to have spawned in the water. Oh, I that him. is a half slab. He's gonna die now, though. Do they drown? I don't know. If not, I can't kill him with lava under there. It's true. He looks fine. He doesn't seem to be drowning. Uh... Uh, um, but yeah, the reason why I didn't get excited is because I knew it was going to be short-lived. Like I don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's a pessimistic point of view, but it's true. Well, I mean, so that we need to come up with plans. Then, what are we going to do on the next server? Maybe well, we don't you know, start I something honestly, and do a build. We just I honestly think that the next server is going to be a different beast altogether. Because I do believe once we bring it up and have it going that the patreon will get to that goal um so i do think that we're gonna see you know people on the server viewers on the server um and i think that's gonna change things like there's gonna be things to do you know what i mean um and that might incentivize people like fedrin see like fedrin like when we talk to fedrin about it she's like you know i can't play on the server it's not good for my mental health because i spend so much time on there no one else is putting time in and I don't, I don't, I, I'm not disagreeing with her point point of view. Obviously, what she says is true for herself. I just don't understand it. And maybe I should talk to her more about what she means by that. But to me, it doesn't make sense. Like, don't, don't do that to yourself. Then, like, just, play. <laughs> just, just don't. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah I, if it's if you're playing too much, play less. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't. But that's just like you know, addiction stuff. I'm not saying that like she's addicted or anything like that, but. It's easy to say and to think about from that logical perspective, but it's a whole different... Oh, come on, man. Wait, this might be working. It's a whole different ball game if you're actually the person, you know... Right. I, I, I guess what she wants is if she's going to put in that level of commitment, she wants others to do the same. But, I, I mean, I'm not ever going to put in as much time as she did on the server. It's just, I mean, that's just... I, it's, I don't have that much interest interest in Minecraft to play for eight hours a day for seven weeks straight or whatever the fuck it was. Um, I mean, more power to her. And I, I don't think we should restrict or reward excessive play um, personally, but um, that's just my perspective. Well, so I agree and disagree. The only reason I would agree with restricting is so that all elytras don't go disappear in the first day <laughs> um you know things like that remember that game yeah. echo what eco it was supposed to be uh oh. <laughs> jesus christ have you ever have you played that game no i have not played it i still get emails from the developer about it like they're still doing a lot of stuff with it but the concepts within it were supposed to be uh trying to like could you limit the number of like things you could harvest in a day and all this weird well, stuff so whenever that it first came work. out it was meant to be played in classrooms and it was meant to be a dying world basically that you're trying to escape from i don't know how much they've stuck to that but like with that there was like a website that came with each server and you could like basically create a government and vote on policies like all right well the deer are going extinct because we are over farming the deer so we need to set up a policy and a law on, to pre prevent the killing of deer 
and stuff like that. So that's that's what you're talking about. Yes. Um, that's what they did. Uh, so, but yeah, that was that was like a different thing altogether, right? Because it's like that's the damn game. <laughs> um, we played it. Uh, me, Co, uh, Nakomi, and Justin for many hours. Any and, good? Uh, oh, I was just gonna destroy these. <laughs> well, I mean, if he's spawning here, I think we need to fill this in and put oh, I got it. on. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. Um, it was an okay game, but it's 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 very interesting in the whole. You know, you can't. I don't know. It was kind of thing where it got to the point where certain things you did, like let's say you wanted to make. Um, a new machine the the processing time on the creation of something was like this will be done in 48 hours real life time oh. um, so it got to the point where we'd all log on because um, it was like you had to balance your nutrition and stuff and like you had to balance like the do. amount of pollution you were putting out while you did all these different things there's a lot of balancing going on to like not destroy the planet while you do all these certain things and uh your sleep shouldn't we um but everything was made it was made in a way that was meant to be played in a classroom basically for 30 minutes to an hour each day and it would work but if you wanted to play it like you know four or five hours a day you, you can't you can't right yeah so it wasn't uh it wasn't it didn't end up being a very good streaming game basically in the end yeah um, I, just re I just remember the concepts of it coming out and the talk about how to limit people from just going crazy. Yeah. There was some interesting things. Like whenever you would mine uh, ore, for example, um, it would take all the stamina. So you would sit there and you'd hit this rock and hit this rock and hit this rock. And you'd finally break the rock. And then you couldn't pick up stuff with like your hand. So you wouldn't like pick up the ore with your hand. So then you had to get out your shovel and scoop one ore with your shovel. Yay, there's one. And then carry your one ore. <laughs> to the furnace to cook your one ore in the furnace from the shovel and so it was just this, these crazy things where everything it was like there's a minecraft mod pack called terra firma craft you ever heard of that mm -hmm. and it's, it, it kind of reminds me of of how eco was where I, everything is so monotonous and so meant to be realistic the guy that made um eco made the game vessel have you ever played that it's like a puzzle game where you have like Different yeah, types of liquid. Yeah, and that's where you move your guys around the screen. No, Vessel, that was a different one. I did play that though. though. Okay. Um, or I watched you play it. One of the two. I did play it. It's all copyrighted now. That uh, broadband. Drops. I won one today. This motherfucker. Oh god. Yeah, I got. I got an email that somebody released the copyright that they had put on my. Oh, huh, my game, look at you, Mr. Man. One. One out of the five I get every day. Dude, I'm so tired of these golems. I think you're tired of the server. Eh. Get. Okay, fine. Uh-oh, you're in my lava. I can't pick it back up. There we go. Yeah, that Echo game must be either doing extremely well still or extremely terribly. I don't think he has a big team, so I think he's just developing it in his own time. He did sell a lot of massive licenses to schools and stuff when I talked to him about it. Um, remember, I bought the uh, the source code because um, that was so, one of the Kickstarter. So you could have just levels. changed it and been like forty eight seconds. Dude. Yeah, I mean, we did talk about that actually. I was like, well, fuck, I got the source code. Why don't we just fucking make this game the way we want to play it? Um, but no one, want, none of us want to put the time in for that. Uh, but anyways, um, I guess we should wrap this episode up. Maybe in the next episode, the golems will spawn worth the fuck. Maybe, maybe. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.